Okay, I want to give you my pep talk that I give to all literature classes, whether it's World Lit or American or British. And I want to tell you my answers for, for why read old famous books. Now I know that one answer, of course, is to get three credits on your transcript, but I have four other answers that I want to talk about. Now, the first one is to join a club. Um, this is probably the, the oldest, most traditional reason that when you read old famous books, you're joining a, cl a club of educated people who have also read them. Now, back in the day when higher education wasn't as available to so many people, that club was really an, an elite group. And they would be able to communicate with each other by their through their knowledge of literature, like they would know um, the relationship between Julius Caesar and Brutus and what betrayal meant, or they would know what Satan's attitude toward authority was, according to Milton, or they would know what Plato meant by philosopher king. And, uh, you know, and this, this reason still holds today. If you read certain old famous books, if you're reading them, well, so did Thomas Jefferson, or so did JFK. And so that really does still exist. But, um, you might think that's sort of an elitist reason. And so there are other ones. The second one is that you really do learn a lot when you read things that are from f long ago or far away. Um, you learn sort of a different minds. You learn a lot of cultural details that may be different from what, from what you're used to today. Uh, people's understanding of what made a good society or how the natural world worked. And when, when you learn these differences from different places or different times, you, it really helps you, I think, to escape what I call the tyranny of the present. Um, there's a Roman philosopher named Cicero who said, those who don't know what the world was like before they were born will always be children. And I would extend that to say those who don't know what the world is like in some other culture, some other place, are also, also have that same sort of limitation. That if you don't know other possibilities, you can just think, well, everything's always been like this. It, it's, it's, it's just a given. It's just how it is. It has to be that way. And learning about some different, different cultures frees up your imagination and allows you to think of how things might be different. Um, in your future, and I think there's a power in that. So, you learn a lot. The third thing is almost the reverse of the second, um, because it, w we talk about learning cultural specifics that are different. The other side of it is recognizing human universals. And you might be surprised um, in reading old stuff how much does seem familiar, particularly in, in emotional terms or social relationships? Um, Do you ever hear that there are certain topics of conversation that you shouldn't bring up in certain social situations? Well, somebody always pipes up, and this is right, religion and politics. You don't talk about that if you are having dinner with your significant other's parents for the first time, or if you're having dinner or a, a party at your bosses. Religion and politics, and I would add sex and violence. And those topics, well, they're troublesome topics, um, they're serious topics, and they're topics that just are intrinsically interesting. And those are the topics that tend, that, that the literature that lasts tends to be about. They're serious. They matter to people. And so, um, you can find yourself identifying across great distances or great time. So that's the third reason. And the fourth reason is you'll become a better reader. Um, I don't know how old you were when you quit having reading classes, maybe fourth grade or something like that, but certainly you're a better reader now. And you'll be a better reader at 30 than at 20. You'll be a better reader at 40 than at 30. That is, if you keep reading. And it's, it, partly it's a matter of vocabulary, partly it's a matter of just general knowledge, 
Partly it's a matter of just sort of learning more tricks of your own language. But as you read difficult things, you become a better reader, you, you absorb more knowledge, and so that every time you read something new, you're able to get more out of it. So those are my four reasons, a club, cultural specifics, the cultural differences, um, human universals, and good reading. So I hope that you get a lot out of this course. I hope you find things that make you think and that entertain you.